you know, good team win, offense, defense, kicking game. Uh, you know, basically we started off a little sluggish on offense first quarter there, and, and actually first half come out and did a bit much better job. I thought there was a lot more flow to the game in the second half offensively, and and defensively, you know, they, they let them escape a couple of times there on some blown assignments, but overall good team win, you know, kicking game. Uh, Offense and defense, and I think it was outstanding. Uh, I guess it was 45 or 44. It, it was good. They were loud, and especially with the weather when we first started at six o'clock, they looked like it was going to rain a little bit. But it ended up being a perfect football night, uh, and a great crowd. Great crowd. Student body was loud. It was a great crowd. They, they, I'm sure they enjoyed themselves. I mean, it was a great turnout when I heard the number 44,000. I mean, that's big coming coming with like a Bethune Cookman game. Um, but, I mean, that's the type of support that we love and need coming from uh, all our fans. Um, we're just going to try and roll off of this momentum and come into a big uh, conference game next week. Uh, it's always good to get a, a fast start. Like you say, we were uh, able to pin them deep a couple times, get them in uh, long first first downs, long second downs. And uh, that just – we were able to play soft co uh, soft coverages. But so on third – I mean, it wasn't hard. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we needed it. Um, we needed to get in that win column. Uh, we needed the confidence, you know, going into the conference, you know, with our first game coming up versus Houston. So, you know, it's all the game we're supposed to win, you know, supposed to go out there and dominate just like every other game. But I'm just glad we uh, were able to do that, um, get a little confidence booster and get ready for this conference. Um, these last few games, um, I think we've been giving up touchdowns on the first drive, you know, letting people drive the ball down. I know we want to make a statement, you know, go out there, uh, set the tone early. Um, when offense gets the ball, they drop it down. And when defense gets the ball, we stop them three and not get them back to them. You know, we're spending too much time on the field. And uh, I think today we try to, you know, get off and get the offense the ball. No, you you never know what the coach is going to call. But uh, I mean, wh whatever I got to do to make sure we get a W, that's the biggest thing. I, I don't care if we have to run the ball 50 times and throw a zero or throw it 50 and run a zero. That's that's what we have to do. Well, we tried to get him in that fourth quarter as much as I like. I don't like beating on people. I like basically playing young kids. Okay, they practice. It's good to get them in the locker room and morale-wise. And I like. I tried to get the seconds in as, as much as I could defensively and offensively as far as get them on the field, get them some reps because it's a long season. You know, they're out there practicing like everybody else. And you know, when you get an opportunity like a game like this to put them in, you need to put them in. Fans come out to Bright House Network Stadium on Thursday, October 9th for Thursday night primetime football as UCF plays host to the BYU Cougars.